Hello, everyone. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good morning. Uh, good evening, Amilcar, and good evening, Diana. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Diana. Okay, welcome. Welcome to the English class. Well, uh, today is going to be the last class of this course. Um, hopefully, um, our your classmate can join us in a little bit uh, because we are more than ready to start our class today. So, um, um, how was your day, Diana? Or are you in class right now, Diana? Are you in class now? How about you, Milkar? How was your day? Milkar? Oh, um, let me see. Can you all hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, welcome, Lily. Welcome, welcome to the English class. Okay. Um, how are you, Lily? Hi, Coach. I'm cool. Where I'm cool. are you? I'm okay. Are you at work or are you in, in your house? At mm, I'm not um, house. Oh, okay, good. Um, um, I'm house. Uh. <laughs> okay, you can say I'm in the house or I'm at home. I'm at home. Mm -hmm. Estoy en casa. I'm, I'm at, at home. home. Correctly, I'm yeah, correctly. Home. All right, so. Um, es de, el, yes. El at no solo se, se ocupa para tiempo, sino que para. Cosas también. Well, you can use at to express time and also to express um, space. Like, for example, where you are now, if you are at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for especially for places, places and time. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. no, thank you. Uh, good evening, Roberto de Paul. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Roberto? Very good, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, good evening, Gracinha. Um, good, good evening, evening Patricia. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening. It's good to see you. I was kind of sad. Because it was only me. Yes. It was only me, and I was like, "Where is everybody?" And then, and then I thought, probably they don't want to come the last class. <laughs> the last class. Yes. Yeah, today is the last day of the class. So, but it's good to see you. It's good to see you, Herbert. It's good to see you, Amilcar, and everyone. Mm -hmm. Lily, are you okay, Lily? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, it's good to see you all today. As I said before, uh, today is the last day of the class. I don't know if you have got any information about the next course. Mm -hmm. When is it going to start? Do you know? No. No? No? Oh, do you get any email yet? Algún email con información? Nothing? Nothing, nothing. Only, okay. only mm -hmm. the documents for the next. Oh, next course. course. Okay, so probably, uh, um, probably in the next coming days, you are going to get information about when it's going to start. 
Yes. Ok. Welcome, Rosa. Rosa Luz. Welcome, Diego Arturo. Ok. Welcome, welcome. Ok. Um, so, as I mentioned before, uh, by this time, you should have finished all the sections in the platform. So I hope you completed everything in the platform so that now you are free. I'm pretty sure you got your certificate. Do you get your certificate yet or no yet? Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet? Mm -hmm. okay. Es que si coach, a mí me sale un anuncio. Mm -hmm. Terminé hace dos semanas. Y me sale un anuncio que dice de que no, mi asistencia no está para tener certificado. Hmm. Oh, yeah. No I puedo read... descargar el certificado. Ok, uh, let me ask, mándeme un mensaje al finalizar la clase o mañana en la mañana y voy a preguntar uh, cuál es el caso suyo. Voy a preguntar aquí en el grupo para que si hay alguien en el grupo que le pueda contestar, pues ahí sea todo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Está bien, eh, quizás a usted, porque yo ya lo envié, e incluso ya les pregunté a dos coordinadores y ni uno me contestó. Oh, ok, déjeme preguntarle entonces, entonces al, al coordinador. Le voy a escribir general. a usted. Ajá, el licenciado Jimmy Martínez sí, es el coordinador general. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, so uh, let's get started. Uh, today we are going to have fun. We're going to be reviewing. No, all the topics that we covered during this uh, course, uh, Intermediate 2, but I hope uh, we can cover most of the topics that we covered. We're just going to be reviewing, basically, uh, it's going to be you talking and sharing uh, sentences uh, or providing some information about the different topics that we covered during this course. Unbelievable, uh, but we got to the last day of this course. Um, so I'm going to share my screen and let's get started. All right. As I said before, uh, today we're going to be reviewing, reviewing, um, basically information that I considered, um, that kind of information needed to be more, uh, let's say, um, just in case if there is any doubts, I chose some topics to to be working more on those topics. All right, what is the objective? At the end of this class, participants will review the main topics covered in the second intermediate level. That's what we're gonna be doing today. All right, so in order to start, uh, do you remember that yesterday we were talking about personality traits? All right, do you remember? Yes. Do you remember yes, that? Yes, Okay, good. And also, I asked you to tell me what kind of personality traits you had. For that, you were telling me some sentences. And remember, like the example over there, I'm punctual and responsible person. So I would like you to tell me what personal traits you have. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? Uh, what kind of personal traits you have? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Me pueden escribir en el chat o me pueden, uh, you can open your microphone and tell me. So mm -hmm. it's up to you. I am an optimist, optimist person. Oh, good, good. You're an optimistic person. Optimistic. Oh, good, nice. So welcome everyone. I'm, welcome. A, mm -hmm. I'm a punctual and let me see. Ay, let me see. Uh, enthusiastic person. Okay, good. So I'm I'm a uh, you are a punctual and enthusiastic person. That's good. Okay, so go to the chat now because I want to make sure that you remember uh, those um those personal traits. Can you type in the chat what kind of personal traits you remember? Look at my example. My example is Moody. Mm -hmm. Moody. Okay. Go to the chat and type the personal traits you remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
personal traits. Vamos a ver. Patient, hardworking, uh -huh, hardworking. Empathy, well, empathy, it's a noun. Empathetic, probably, empathetic. Because empathy is empatía. Empático es empathetic. Okay? Empathetic. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh yeah, nice. Mad, forgetful, strict, mm -hmm. strict, mm -hmm. impatient, nice, very nice. Empathy, dull, <laughs> yes, the opposite of brilliant, brilliant. Mm -hmm. What else? Vamos. Okay, forgetful and dynamic person. Okay, good, Rosa. Very good. What else? What, what other personal traits you remember? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What about creative? Creative. Mm -hmm. Creative. Strict. Mm -hmm. Strict. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. All right, so um, let's move on to the warm up activity. Um, okay, what are we gonna do today? Look, you are going to connect the letters to form a word. How many words can you find? They must have three or more letters. Okay, so can look, I'm gonna say right now. You need to what? You need to create. Crear palabras que tengan más de tres letras. ¿Ok? Escriba en a piece of paper. Try to do it. ¿Ok? Try to think about. You know what? Omitamos que diga más de tres letras. ¿Ok? Ok. More than two. ¿Ok? Digamos de dos en adelante. Dos, dos letras en adelante. ¿Ok? En a piece of paper, please. Please. Write down the words that you can make using those letters, okay? For example, vamos a ver, voy a ver si les digo una, okay. Sí, get, is. sí, I got G, E, and T, sí? Is. Okay, escríbemela en una, en, en, su, en su cuaderno y luego lo vamos a comparar, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a ver cuántas palabras pueden formar utilizando tres, dos o tres letras o más letras. Uh -huh. There are many words in there. Many, many, many words. Uh -huh. Welcome, Dina. Dina Contreras, welcome. Welcome, Diego. Welcome, Good Azucena. evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Azucena Ayala. Okay, lo que estamos haciendo right now, it's uh, haciendo palabras de dos letras o más, basic, uh, using uh, these crosswords que tenemos acá. Esta sopa de letras que tenemos acá. Okay. Utilizando uh, more than two letters. I have finished, teacher. Oh, you finished? Well, uh, uh, there yeah. is not a time limit, okay? No hay un tiempo límite, ni tampoco hay un tiempo, un límite de palabras. Entre más palabras ustedes tengan, pues muchísimo que mejor, okay? Okay. Okay, vamos a ver. Okay, now tell me what words do you find? ¿Qué palabras encontraron? Tell me what words do you find? Mhm. Mm Estar. What? What? Is star? Oh, star. Uh-huh. 
house. 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 Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. Home. Mm -hmm. um, um, okay, house. you know what? Okay, vamos mm -hmm. a, a lo voy a mandar a, a grupo de the small breakout rooms so that you can share your words, okay? Um, vamos a ver, lo voy a mandar a small breakout rooms. Okay, vamos a tener grupo de Ok, le voy a mandar que sean en parejas para que sea más rápido. En parejas o grupos de tres. Ok, so what do you need to do? Uh, you need to share the words that you got. Ok, van a compartir sus palabras que encontraron en la sopa de letra. and a star. I have a world. I am do a non a star but how come okay uh, no problem I I find I find the 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 word Why work? drop zero home game home keep dog may lost arm mother house y get home la repetía así por eso I find eleven words on the internet. And no. you, Roberto? No. Stop. Lamp. Risk. Rapid. Home. Desk. Tropic. Get. And you, Luis Arquimedes? Mm, me imagino que estamos buscando palabras. Por favor, mm -hmm. comenzar. Door. Somebody. You. Uh, uh, next, happy, delivery. Hi, Roberto. Hi, hi. Ok, um, Amilcar, what happened? ¿Por qué no se unió a la, a la reunión? Amilcar. No, no me apareció, solo apareció. Ok. All right, so thank you so much for participating. Sí, um, no me dio la opción de unir. Oh, ok, that was weird because I, I could see... I could see it and the system saying that you weren't, uh, you didn't join the meeting. All right. So um, tell me, how was it? How was the activity? How many words do you find? How many words? How many? Hmm? 12. 12, 8. Mm -hmm. 12, what? 12, uh-huh. What about the rest? How many words? Only 12? How, how, like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? How many? One. One? Okay, that's fine. If you found only one, that, that's, that's okay. That's okay. That was a good way to activate your vocabulary spelling. 
Because I know you know a lot of words, but sometimes we tend to forget spelling. By having that kind of uh, word puzzle or word crossword, um, we can activate our knowledge about about um, about any vocabulary that we, that we might have. All right. So thank you for participating. All right. So let's move on, please. Uh, we're going to move on. And um, as I said before, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right. So what we're going to do today? Um, yes, teacher. Okay, good. Remember that yesterday we were working on classes with because. Remember? Do you remember that? I will make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. Um, I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. All right. Look at the patterns that we have down here. I could never be a blah, 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 because blah, 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 blah. Look at the other example. I wouldn't mind working as a blah, 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 because blah, blah, blah. All right. Think about your professions. Think about something that you would like to do or maybe you wouldn't like to do. Okay. And I want you to Choose one. Escojan uno. Veo que hay cuatro. Look. Una es, I could never be. The next one, I wouldn't mind. The next one, I would make a good um, because and something. Okay, sorry. And the best job for me is blah, 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 blah. Escojan una, por favor. And think about a profession. Only one. Y me la escriben, por favor, en el chat. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, okay, I'm going to do my own example. Mm -hmm. I make a good um, okay. Look at my example. Mira mi ejemplo. I make a good photographer because I love taking pictures. What about you? Okay, quiero que hagan una oración. Escojan uno de los cuatro. Tengo, I could never be, I wouldn't mind working, I would make a good, or the best job for me is. Okay, do it and please, en la sección de because, tell me uh, or include una personality traits that you have. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you like to be a public, I mean, a, a what? A, um, if you like to be a what a um, police police officer, you can go and type it. Uh -huh. Estamos claros qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Sí. Yes, teacher. Okay, vamos a ver. Ya tengo dos. Okay, tengo a Patricia. Okay, I could never be a pilot <laughs> because I don't like the planes. That's an excellent example, Patricia. Good job. Let me see Roberto Adonai. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm a little shy. Really, Roberto? Are you shy? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. A little. <laughs> a little bit. Okay. A little bit. Okay. Vamos a ver. Yo, yo espero ver oraciones de todos. Ahorita solo tengo de dos personas. Está faltando Graciña, Herbert, Luis Arquímedes. Rosa Luz, Dina Contrera, Eileen Michel, Diego Arturo, Diana, Azucena Ayala, Roberto de Paul y Amilcar Escobar. Ok, estoy esperando oraciones de cada uno de ustedes. Ok. Okay, so uh, Chair, yes, yes. I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, question. In the last uh, sentences, 
the best job for me is mm -hmm. uh, bla 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 because vaya entonces okay, en you. ese caso dígame eh, dígame cómo cómo se puede conectar con lo que con lo que uno el mejor trabajo para uno okay so you la can say for... cómo se puede decir okay you can say for example the best job for me is to be a teacher ah to be ajá es como ah, en español okay. decimos verdad el mejor trabajo para mí <laughs> es ser un arquitecto es ser un doctor el mejor trabajo para mí es ser un ingeniero por ejemplo ok vamos a ver yo tengo wow I can see more examples coming up good let me see Ailey Michelle I could never be a doctor because injections scare me <laughs> ok good job let me see Graciña I could never be a doctor because I have ok I am I am afraid I am afraid, I am afraid. I am afraid okay. of the blood Okay. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I don't know how how doctors deal with blood. I don't know how. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, <laughs> vamos a ver, Luis Arquímedes. The best job for me is to be a oh a vet because I like the animals. Good job, Arquímedes. Vamos a ver, Diego Arturo. I wouldn't want to be an accountant because I don't like numbers. Okay. <laughs> Vamos a ver, Rosa Luz. I will make a good psychologist. Okay, listen, Rosa Luz. I would make a good psychologist. No psychology, okay? Psychologists. Because I'm good at listening to other people. Excellent. Very good, Rosa Luz. Okay. Sigue esperando oraciones de... Herbert Douglas, Dina Contreras, uh, vamos a ver, Diana, Azucena Ayala, Amilcar Escobar, Roberto de Paul. Vamos a ver aquí. Oh, Azucena Ayala, okay, good. I could never be a nurse because I don't have patience. Okay. Okay, en ese caso, Azucena, sería I don't have patience, como paciencia. Porque si te traduce aquí, Azucena, me diría, uh, nunca podría ser una enfermera porque no tengo paciente. Eso me lo diría usted. Remember, patient is an adjective. Patience is a, is a noun, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, Dina Contreras. Ok. I could never be a good cooking because I don't like to cook, ¿ok? Because I don't, li I don't, I don't like to cook. Um, all right, let me see the example. Mm -hmm. Let me see the other example. Um, okay, Diego Arturo, I wouldn't want to be an account. Okay, I already know that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Another example, please. Remember, we are reviewing. We are reviewing uh, the topic. Okay, that topic. Okay, is there any question? Is there any question so far? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre este tema? Uh -huh. Ok, ¿hay alguna consulta sobre este no tema? Teacher. Yes, no. Ok, sigamos al siguiente tema. No ok, do you remember that uh, during this course we learned, uh, uh, we learned what? We learned, so, ok, do I have another answer? Yes, Roberta Pau, I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm shy. Okay, 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 uh, Roberto, thank you so much for your answer. All right, remember that we have two parts verbs. Do you remember clean up? Do you remember that? Clean up, hang up, pick up, put away, take out, throw out, turn off, and turn down. Okay, okay, tell me what can I clean up? Me pueden buscar dos de estas que hay acá. Okay, garbage, grocery, magazine, the mess, <laughs> microwave, the towel, your coat, and your laptop. What about clean up? What can I clean up? Clean up the clean mess. Up the mess. The oh, magazine. Clean up the, the microwave. mess. Clean up the microwave. Good. What about hang up? 
clean up your laptop. Hang up your, up the, your coat. Your coat. Okay, hang up your coat. ¿Qué más puedo hang up? Hang up towels. Your, your hang up towel. your towel. Uh -huh. Good. What about pick up? Pick up. The garbage. Pick up, oh, pick up. up the garbage. The magazines. ¿Qué más puedo pick up? The pick up the groceries. Oh, pick up the groceries. Pick the up grocery. the, the, the magazine. Pick, pick up, up the, the magazine. Pick up the laptop. Pick up the towel. Pick up your coat. Yo diría que todos podemos pick up, right? De todos. Okay, good. How about put away? Put away. ¿Qué significa put away, by the way? ¿Qué significa put away? Put away. ¿Qué significa put away? Sacar. Guardar. 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 Sacar. Sacar, guardar. Uh -huh. Guardar, que no es keep. Yes, put away could be guardar. Por ejemplo, put away what? Uh -huh. The towels. The towels. The toys. The toys. Your yes. Towels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about take the magazine. out? Mm -hmm. The magazine's good. What about take out? Your laptop. Oh, take out your take laptop. Out. Mm -hmm. laptop. What take else? Out the, the, cut. the cut. Oh, yeah, take out the garbage, the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about throw out? What about throw too. out? Mm -hmm. um, what about throw out? Throw the garbage. Uh, yes, the garbage. Okay. What about turn off yeah, the garbage? Turn off the microwave. Turn off the light. Okay. Turn off the light. The, the microwave. The microwave. The okay. Listen. Yeah. What I want you the to do now. The television, etc. Okay. Lo que quiero que vean ahorita es, I want you to write three sentences. Okay, I want you to write three sentences using two verbs, okay? Aquí en el chat, tres oraciones, you can use clean up, you can use pick up, you, you can use uh, turn off, etc. Okay? Ok, uh, tres oraciones, por favor. Uh, using clean up, hang up, pick up, put away, etc. Ok. Is there any question? Question? ¿Alguna pregunta? No, teacher. No, ok. Uh, vamos, le voy a dar un minuto. Escriben en el chat las tres oraciones utilizando a uh, two-part verb. It could be clean up, puede ser take out. Etc. Vamos a ver, ya viene el primer ejemplo. Clean up the garbage every day. Good. I can clean up the towels. Nice. ¿Qué más? Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Clean up my bathroom every day. I clean up my bathroom every day. Excellent. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Vamos a ver. I take out, I take out trash. Good. Good. Ok. Voy a leer las oraciones. Síguenlas mandándolas acá, por favor. Las voy a leer en un momento. Please pick up the garbage. Good. Good, good. Very good. Uh, let me see. Turn off the laptop. Can you pick up your shoes? I turn on on the TV. We take the garbage out. She put away her coat. Please turn off the laptop when you finish. Good example. Turn on the microwave. Turn down. Oh, aquí hay, un, hay alguien más. Amilcar me está diciendo turn down. ¿Qué significa turn down? ¿Alguien se recuerda qué significa turn down? 
Bajarle el volumen, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan? Uh -huh. Okay, put away magazines every day. Hang up your coats. Okay, yes, hang out your coats, etc. Okay, let me see Susana Ayala. Please turn off your laptop, pick up the towels, turn on the TV, it's time to the news. Okay, put away everything. Nice, nice example. Very nice example. Good, good. I like your examples. I really like. Oh, take off. Oh, nice. Take off my boots. Take off. Take off. Good. All right. All right. Continue, please, writing your sentences. Okay, let me see, let me check. Okay, uh, let me see, I'm going to read Herbert Douglas, clean out the car and make it look nice. <laughs> Put away the food in the fridge, take out the notebook to do the homework. Okay, look, what about now? Look at the pictures, look at the picture and tell me sentences. Look at the picture. What sentences can you tell me? Please open your microphone. Open your microphone, please, and tell me the sentences. What sentences can you make based on the picture? Mm -hmm. Sentences. Sí, oraciones. Basadas okay. en the picture. Uh, we take the garbage out at every night. She okay. put away her coat. In the closet. And number three, please turn off the laptop when you finish to use it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, okay. Thank you, uh, Roberto Donay. But what about aquí en la foto? ¿Qué imagen, qué oraciones pueden hacer viendo aquí oh, la okay. imagen? Mm -hmm. the, family, uh, the family members are cleaning the house. Yes. Yes, good. The Thank boy, you. Uh -huh. uh, boys, be put, put away uh, your toy. Okay, the boy put, it, put, put it away the, your toys? He's your, he, his or her? He, 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 oh, okay, he, good. Okay. He, good, he, good. So, but listen he, to me. The boy put away, put away, put, put, he, put. Put away. Puts. Put away. Puts. Put puts. Puts. Okay. Puts away. The boy puts away, puts away the... his toys. Good. The Thank boy you. puts away his yes. toys. Yes. Yes. The girl who is the you wearing the uh, skirt is what water. The plants. <laughs> okay, it's watered in the plant. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So, is there any question about uh, two parts, um, two parts a verb? Is there any question about this one? Any question? No, teacher. No, no, teacher. Oh. Okay. Okay, so also, do you remember that sometimes when we want to ask for any favor, we ask, uh, we can use any polite requests. Uh, I apologize if you hear like somebody crying is my daughter. <laughs> She's crying. I don't know if you could hear her. I'm sorry for that. No problem, teacher. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> no, the thing is like my wife, uh, she left, she, she left to do something outside and I'm, I'm, I'm just by myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, polite request. 
you know that there are many ways to ask for um to ask for requests i remember we were talking about this topic uh for example if you don't know the person you need to be very very polite to request any favor verdad pero si supongamos que yes. uh, let's suppose that you are talking to your mom or you are talking to your brother or you're talking to your neighbor and you know each other very well, you can use, for example, can you? <clears throat> However, if you don't know the person whom you are asking for a favor, ¿cuál utilizaría? utilizarían? ¿Utilizarían can you or utilizarían could you? Could you, would you mind? Would you mind? Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember that when we use would you mind, that is very, very polite. Okay? Polite. Look at the example yeah. here. It says, can you turn the music down? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you please take your garbage out? Okay. I remember that I told you when we were discussing this topic, de que cada vez, por ejemplo, en la expresión would you, would you mind, siempre vamos a utilizar el ing. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Gerundio. Uh -huh. yeah, el gerundio, yes. correcto. Yes. Ok, el gerundio. However, ok, do not forget that, ok, when we are using would you mind, Siempre lo que le sigue, el verbo que se utilice después de would you mind, irá en gerundio. Ok. Look at the other one. Would you mind closing, closing the door, please? And would you mind not, just in case if it were a negative. All right. Not putting. Okay, give me a second now. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to, um, I'm going to do something right now. But before... Me pueden escribir oraciones con can you and could you and would you mind, please? Okay. Can you please um, write one or two sentences using these expressions? Okay. Por ejemplo, can you open the door? Could you open the door? Would you mind opening the door? Would you please open the door? Etc. Okay. I want to see if you remember how to write or how to write sentences to polite request or to do some polite requests okay please write sentences right now in the chat Okay, let me see. Okay. Uh, Patricia Herrera, her sentence says, can you give me a right, please? Okay, good. Vamos a ver el otro ejemplo. Could you put the clothes? Okay, good. Would you mind taking me a photo? <laughs> yes, especially when you go to a place and you want to have a picture and you are alone or only you and your husband or only you and your friend. Eh, yes. Would you mind taking me a picture? Ese es un buen ejemplo. Vamos a ver otro. Vamos a ver Luis Arquímede. Would you mind cleaning your room? Ajá. Ok, good. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Qué más ejemplos me pueden dar? Puede ser con would you mind? Would you please? Uh -huh. Let me see, Roberto. Would you mind feeling, feeling a quiz? Can you call me at night, please? Ok. Vamos a ver, Rosa Luz. Can you tell me the directions of the theater? Okay. Patricia Herrera, would you please give me the sauce? Okay. 
could you tell me what is the next course, please? Uh huh. Graciña, would you mind keeping the information in the laptop, please? Nice. What about Michelle? Can you turn off the TV, please? Very good. I can see very good examples. Okay. Very, very good example. Uh, vamos a ver ahora. Me pueden escribir una oración en negativo. En negativo. Con would you mind not. Okay. Me pueden escribir una oración con would you mind not. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Tal vez me pueden escribir una oración con would you mind not. Okay, uh, let me see the negative sentences. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Roberto Donay says, would you mind not speaking when we are <laughs> watching movie? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, Patricia Herrera. Would you mind not eating our dessert? <laughs> Good. Amilcar Escobar. Would you mind not parking your car here? Good. Those are very good examples. Mm -hmm. Very good examples. Okay, vamos a ver otro ejemplo con negativo. ¿Quién me puede dar otro ejemplo con negativo? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, Graciña. Would you mind not speaking loudly, please? Vamos a ver, Ailey. Would you mind not closing the window, please? Okay, Patricia Herrera. Would you mind not wearing my skirt? <laughs> okay, good. Vamos a ver, no he visto oraciones. ¿De quién no he visto oraciones? Vamos a ver en el chat. ¿De quién no he visto oraciones? Ok, vamos a ver, Herbert. Would you mind not calling me at midnight? <ríe> ok. Vamos a ver, ¿quién no me ha dado oraciones? Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, ¿quién no me ha dado oración? Roberta de Paul. I'm waiting for your response. Vamos a ver, ¿quién más? Diego Arturo. Diana. Azucena Ayala. Ok, vamos a ver aquí en el chat now. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ah, oh, ok, ok, I'm sorry, Susana. Ahora, hasta ahorita estoy viendo su oración. Can you give me a little piece of, a piece of chocolate? Would you mind? Ok, Azucena, recuerde que después de would you mind, el verbo va a ir en ing. Ok, en este caso sería, Susana, would you mind closing the door, please? Ok, ok, Susana. Azucena, are you there? Ok. Lo mismo pasa con el negativo, Azucena. Would you mind not taking off your shoes, please? Ok, vamos a ver Luis Arquímedes. Would you mind not reading from the TV? Ok. Roberto de Pau, would you mind not speaking while I eat? Patricia, would you mind not sharing those pictures? Ok, excelente. Muchísimas gracias. Ok, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I can see that you remember this topic very well. Very, very well. Is there any question now? Mm -hmm. Okay, Lily says, would you mind cleaning my room, please? No, no, I don't want to clean your room. <laughs> okay, would you mind not cleaning my room? Would you mind not speaking a lot? Okay, I'm going to be quiet. That's fine. Okay, vamos a la siguiente. <laughs> vamos al, al siguiente ejemplo, okay? Okay, also, remember that we were studying conditional. ¿Se acuerdan de los condicionales? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you remember? Okay, yes. look at the example. Yes. If you get a high-paying job, you will have more cash to spend. Okay? If you have more cash to spend, cash coma, to spend. You will be able to buy anything you want. Okay, this is the first conditional. En el cual, en el primero condicional es, miren, bien sencillo. En la parte del if va el presente y en la parte del 
del, del you will o etcétera, va el qué? ¿Qué tiempo verbal Future. es este? Future. Futuro. Okay. Sen, ajá, Future. sencillo. Ok, aquí va el presente y aquí va el futuro. Ok, simple like that. Ok, aquí puede ir negativo, así como también puede ir positivo. La oración puede ser positiva o puede ser negativo. Igual en el Coach. futuro. Yes. Eh, sorry, uh -huh. pero ya me sale el certificado. Oh, ya oh. lo pude ver. Oh, good, good. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, in the future as well, you can have negativo y también positivo. Oraciones positivas, oraciones negativas. Okay, for example. Okay, look at the example. Um, vamos a escribir una oración acá. If you walk, I mean, vamos a ver un ejemplo. If you drink a lot of water, ¿qué va a pasar if you drink a lot of water? ¿Qué va a pasar? If you drink a lot of water. ¿Qué va a pasar? You, Ajá, you will not better. You will not thirsty. You will not be thirsty. You ah, will, you will not, not be thirsty. ¿Qué más? If you drink a lot of water. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? What happens? Orinar. ¿Ah? Orinar. So how do you say orinar in English? How do you say that in English? Uh, mm -hmm. Make peace. Take a piece. Take a, okay, good. <laughs> Listen, you can say orinate. <laughs> Lo más formal es orinate. Okay. Orinate. Lo informal es take a piece. Take a piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. es, hey, por ah. ejemplo, okay, uh, probably, <laughs> this is informal, right? Okay, you, for example, you can say, hey, I'm going I'm going to take a piece. Take ¿Sí? a piece. I'm going to take a piece. ¿Qué significa eso? I'm going to go to the bathroom to orinate. <laughs> ¿Eh? Okay. Uh, Patricia Herrera says, if you come late to the party. I have a question, teacher. Ajá, dígame, Roberto. For example, if I... ¿Cómo puedo decir, por ejemplo, para pedirle permiso ahorita que estamos en clase uh -huh. para ir a, al baño? ¿Quién oh. go to the bathroom? Well, yes. Ustedes saben la diferencia entre el bathroom y el restaurant, ¿verdad? ¿Saben la diferencia de eso, verdad? Yes. 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 Que bathroom yes. y restaurant, restaurant es un... No son restroom lo mismo. Es el baño bathroom, público. Exactly. Restroom. And bathroom is the one that you use at home. Lo que tienen en su bathroom casa se llama bathroom. Es baño. Casa, bathroom. ¿Hm? Bathroom es el de mi casa. ¿verdad? Exactly. Exactly. Exactamente. Y exactly. Es como ir al centro comercial. Ajá. Good. Al yes. cine, al, al mercado. Ajá. To the gas ah, station. Okay. Any. Any rest, okay, any restroom that is not yours at home, it's a restroom. <laughs> uh, any toilet, <laughs> any toilet. Esa sería la palabra, toilet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Toilet. So maybe um, you can tell me first, can I go to, can I go to the bathroom? You can, you can say that. Mm -hmm. Can I go to the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Eso podría decir. Okay. Vamos a ver. Okay. Quiero que me escriban una oración utilizando el condicional. Ok, eso vamos a hacer ahorita. Escríbame una oración utilizando el condicional. Uh -huh. Voy a escribir mi oración ahorita. Look. I will be happy if I drink a very cold Coca-Cola. ¿Sí? I will be happy if I drink a very cold Coca-Cola. Right now, if I drink a, a Coca-Cola, I will be happy. Vamos a ver, Robert, vamos a ver, Herbert. Vamos a ver la oración de Herbert. If we be, mm, if we be, ¿cuál sería, ¿cuál sería el verbo ahí, Herbert? If we be, be, be. ¿Cómo sería ahí? En vez de be, ¿qué verbo debería de colocar ahí? ¿O qué combinas? ¿O qué combinación del verbo be? Uh 
we are. Oh, ah. yes. If we are patient, if we are patient, we will avoid many problems. That's a good example. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. I'm waiting for your examples. Estoy esperando sus ejemplos, ¿ok? Ok, vamos a ver Graciña. If you speak English, you will have more opportunities. Good. Very good example. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. If I fell down. Ok. Patricia, if I fell is the simple pass. But that would be fall. Fall. Ah. Fall. That one. If I fall down now, oh, okay, I might hurt you. my leg. Yes, I might hurt my leg. Vamos a ver, Roberto. If I have more free time, I will be able to practice some sports. Roberto, okay, good. Good example. Good example. Okay. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. One more example, please. Vamos a ver. Hay algún otro ejemplo? Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at the next one. Look at the next one. Um, okay, fall in love. Can you match the possible situation and the consequences? Todas las consecuencias están a la derecha. If you fall in love, what will happen? If you get a part-time job, what will happen? If you join a gym, what will happen? If you move to a foreign country, what will happen? If you study very hard, what will happen? Vamos a ver, quiero que me hagan oraciones con eso ahorita. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Tenemos, vamos a ver cuánto tenemos. Uh, mm -hmm. Tenemos que, oh, dos minutos casi para terminar. Mm -hmm. Hágame una oración, vamos a ver si puede. Vamos a ver, fall in love. Oh, vamos a ver aquí. If veo. I fall too, uh -huh. I will get here. Okay. Patricia says, if I don't, if I don't study a lot, I won't get my degree. If I buy my car, I would travel more comfortable. Good. What about falling in love? If mm -hmm. I fall in love. Enamorarse. Yes, yes. I if I fall in love. Get. I will. I will feel. I will get married sometimes. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I will feel jealous sometimes. I would say all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, no sometimes, just all the time. No, sometimes. Ah, okay, I believe you, Gracinha. I believe you. Mm -hmm. okay. Vamos a preguntarle ahí, a ver a quién. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, look, Dina. Okay, Dina, acuérdense, Dina, que usted necesita un verbo, un, necesita un subject. Por ejemplo... If I okay. fall in love, look, if I okay. fall in love, ¿qué va a pasar si se enamora? If I fall in love, I will get married. Okay. If I fall in love, I will get married. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I wish I could have more time to continue um, talking about um, the review that we have for you today. So I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for um, your time. Thank you. We had an amazing time. We just, we just um, okay, let me see, Patricia. If I move to a foreign country, what will happen? Uh, I would speak another one. Okay. So uh, I want to say thank you. Quiero agradecerles. Thank you so much for your hard working. You are very mm -hmm. hard working students. I really appreciate what you did during this month. And esperemos que tal vez el otro semestre nos podamos, no, no el otro semestre, next course. Yo espero que sigan. Mm -hmm. Please next. continue. Don't give up. Please do your best. I can see, believe me, I have students, students in the university. And believe me, they are in fifth year. And uh, you are much better than them. So please do your best, okay? I highly encourage you to do your best, okay? So please, I hope to see you next course. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful um, vacation because you will have like one, two, three, four days. I don't know how many days free. Enjoy, sleep well, and I hope to see you in the next course. So thank you so much.
Thank you for your participation. I really appreciate that. Okay. Bye bye bye. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, bye -bye. Thank you very much, teacher. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye.